Hello and welcome back to this house of walls. Today we are going to be talking all things science. So as always, sit down, pull up your favorite drink. As always, mine is coffee. Um, but it's the morning and so I'm going to use this to get my day going. So let's talk science. If you have seen any of my videos or if you follow me on Instagram, science this year has kind of been a flop. We just haven't found what works for us. And so I'm kind of having to do some digging and figure out what could work for us in the future. My Second grader right now is doing an out school class all about interactive science and it touches on all different topics of science and he's having a really good time with that. My sixth grader, we do kind of like little unit studies every now and then. Um, I did just pull up, he wants to learn about seals and so this week we're going to do a little seal unit study and learn more about seals. But for next year, when they are in third and seventh grade, I would like to have something that could possibly work a little bit better. So I've done a lot of scouring and looking around, trying to decide what would work. I came into a couple of roadblocks. One is that we are a secular homeschooling family and Mm, let's say 75% of homeschool sciences out there are religiously based. Um, so that just doesn't work for our family and for our beliefs. So we hit a roadblock there. The second roadblock that we hit is uh, classical homeschooling, which we have been loosely following their method for the past couple of years, recommends that you take a year to dive deep into a subject. And then the next year you dive deep into another subject of science and then follow, you know, follow that pattern in a pattern for four years. And then you repeat that same pattern over again in middle school and high school, which sounds great. The problem is I find that I get bored with that and so do my kids. They want to pick up different kinds of sciences. Um, and for me, science is not my forte. I will lay it out there. It is not my strong suit. It does not make sense to me. I can pick up anything grammar or even math related and it just makes sense up to a point. Some, some math does not make sense for me, but that's our problem with science. So I think maybe I have found something that will work for next year. Now, this is not a homeschool science. It was originally made for public schools, but I think we can easily make it work for us. And that is science fusion. So this is the third grade workbook here. It is a work text. So in here you get all of the information along with kind of fill in the blank and let's dive a little bit deeper into what we're learning about. Um, you can see that's about how thick it is. The camera around and give you a flip through of what is covered in each, but this is the third grade and then the seventh grade. It's big. <laughs> I am not thinking that we will get through all of this in a year. Uh, we don't do science every day and that's fine. It's fusion for seventh grade. Uh, and I do have little composition notebooks. As you can see, I did find a whole stack of composition notebooks untouched, never used at our local thrift store. So this is fantastic. This will allow us to 
dive deeper into a subject. If we come across one that we want to learn more about, we will definitely put Science Fusion down, pull this out, get some little unit study going or anything like that, and put it into this notebook. I also want them to be putting some vocabulary words in here because I think that that just is helpful and useful on so many levels. So we will definitely be taking advantage of these composition notebooks along with the work text. So on that note, I'm going to flip you around and give you a little inside scoop on grade three and seven for Science Fusion. Okay, so here is the third grade Science Fusion. Like I said, this is a work text, so most of it is all in here. Um, this is my little sticky note to let me know um, for planning pur purposes that we will hopefully do two to four lessons a week. Um, there are other things um, that you can use with this. So there is kind of like a flip book that you can purchase uh, for the labs. I have not been able to find it yet for either of these grades. And I do know that the flip book is also in the teacher guide. Again, I can't find one without spending at least $70 on the teacher guide, and I don't want to do that. So um, there are also options for virtual labs and e-learning. Again, because of how I bought this just off of Amazon, I'm not able to do that. But now let's get into the different units. So unit one is all about investigating questions. Unit two is the engineering process. Unit three is plants and animals. Unit four is ecosystems and interactions. Unit five, changes to Earth's surface. Unit six, people and resources. And it continues. Unit seven, water and weather. Unit eight, Earth and its moon. Unit nine, matter. And then unit 10, simple and compound machines. So what I love is that this touches on all sorts of different sciences and gives them a taste of it. And then if we want to stop and dive deeper into it, we totally can. Um, so let me, I'm going to turn to unit two and show you what it looks like. So this is the beginning of unit two, the engineering process. So you can see it talks about what the big idea is and it gives a I wonder why. So just kind of to get them thinking about what is going to be talked about. Um, it gives the different lessons and then it starts with lesson one. So it talks about, you know, how to engage your brain and then there are vocabulary words um, that they want you to write the word here, but this is where that other little notebook is going to come in handy and I want him to actually write the word and the definition um, in that notebook. And then it starts with the reading of it. Um, so again, has all these little work texts to just dive a little bit deeper into what we are reading. Um, I think that my, <laughs> my son doing this for next year is going to have a lot of fun. Um, and then, so that's the end of lesson one. So we have a little bit of a review. And then there is a little bit of something that you can do here. Um, again, we don't have the flip book with all of the instructions, so I will try to find out more information and we will either try to figure it out ourselves or turn to YouTube and watch some good YouTube videos that go along with the lesson. So front and back for that and then it goes into the next lesson. So we really like this setup and I think that it will be really good for my third grader. 
All right, now we have the seventh grade science fusion. Um, so again, you can see my little sticky note just for my planning. Again, it has the extra things that you can do um, that we don't have access to, um, but that's okay. It gets, then it gets into the um, contents. So unit one is nature of science. Unit two is measurement and data. Unit three, cells. Unit four, reproduction and heredity. Unit five, the diversity of living things. Unit six, living systems. Unit seven, human body systems. Unit eight, Earth's changing surface. Unit nine, living in space. And that is all of the units. Uh, so again, it covers a whole variety of different topics and subjects. So I really like that. Um, it does start talking about safety in the lab, safety in the field, um, just kind of some little prep. Then we start with unit one. Um, so again, it lists the big idea and kind of gets them thinking a little bit before they start on the unit. It does list what they will be learning in the unit. Um, and I like this. Everything is numbered, so he can easily go through on his own and be like, okay, I need to read here, answer this question, talk, you know, go over here, and then do the apply your knowledge. And then it really dives into lesson one, um, where he can make some predictions. Uh, and then this is the active reading. So it does give him a place here to do the vocab. Um, again, I would like to put vocab into the separate notebook. And then his reading obviously is much more detailed than the third grade. Um, and then you can see there's reading, there's definitely some, all right, let's talk about what we just read, and then some more, let's dive a little bit deeper. And then we are at the lesson one review. So again, it just goes over what he was reading about to just make sure it's kind of stuck in. There are There is a note section in here, but again, we will use the separate notebook. And then he goes into lesson two. All right, I just wanted to show that at the end of every unit, there is a big review. So it goes over all of the big ideas um, and then goes into a pretty detailed review of everything that was learned in that unit. And then it goes into unit two. Something else that I like is that it does give charts and graphs and everything um, of data. Now, is it real data? I don't know. But I do like that they then have to take the data from there and apply it in different ways. All right, so I hope that that little flip through of how we are going to try to use Science Fusion next year is helpful. Uh, I will say that I think going into, this will be our fourth year of homeschooling. I think that, I don't know, I have more confidence in just trying to figure what works and what doesn't work uh, and making it work for us. And that's the big key is that um, what works for other families may not work for all families and even with my children. Something might work for one child and not for the other, and that is great because we can adjust as needed. So here we are. As always, if you like these kinds of videos and want to see more about homeschooling in any form or fashion or books or anything else that I might post, be sure to subscribe and like below, and I will see you for the next video.